Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katrina and I make motherhood, lifestyle, and cloth diaper videos. And today we are doing a video on our experience with elimination communication, which is a version of potty training. So this is largely based on our own experience with it, so not professional by any means. And some tidbits of information that have helped us along on this crazy potty training journey. Remember, always do what's best for you and your family. This method might not be good for you and that is totally okay. If this is something that you are interested in, I would highly recommend doing some more research. I will link a few resources in the description below to kind of help you start on your research journey if that is what you choose to do. So we're going to start off with a definition of what elimination communication is. The definition is learning your baby's natural signals, cues, and rhythms and gently responding to their waste needs until they can do it for themselves. So to start off, doing elimination communication is not your classic potty training boot camp that you can do over a weekend. It is definitely a long game method of potty training. Potty training this way really makes you focus on your baby's cues, which can in turn give you some freedom from the dependence on diapers. So with elimination communication, you can start right from birth. They say the best window to start EC is between birth and 18 months. For us, we chose to wait until Elise could sit up on her own reliably, which was around the seven month mark. The great thing about elimination communication is that you can do it full time or part time. It doesn't matter. Part time can look a little different for everybody. It can be only catching number twos, maybe the first pee of the morning, the day, only doing EC at home, etc. There's like so many ways that you could do EC part time. With full time, I will start off by saying it doesn't mean that you have to catch every single pee and poop. It just means trying to pay attention to your baby's cues as much as you possibly can and just making it a priority. But it definitely takes the stress of potty training off, for me at least, knowing that like doing EC full time doesn't mean that I have to only have her go on the toilet. It's still like learning. She's still learning, you know? For us, we chose to do EC full time. We started off catching her number twos because her cues were very obvious. I would say now that she is 10 months old, we are catching her peas probably around 70% of the time. It's a little harder for us to tell when she's peeing, but we are getting the hang of it and she is also kind of learning too. Now we catch her number twos probably 99% of the time. I only leave that 1% off because, you know, if we go out, sometimes she will. There's been many times where she holds it until we get home, but the odd time she'll poo in her diaper when we're out or if she's having a really rough day she will poo in her diaper. It's almost like an accident like she just has to go so fast. Doing EC is definitely easier to do at home for us at least. However we have been trying our best to put her on the toilet when we go out. We just started going to church recently again and I've been trying to make sure to put her on the toilet when I can and paying attention to her cues. Just last Sunday when we went, she didn't pee in her diaper the whole time we were at church. I put her on the potty twice, she peed both times, so she is understanding it and getting the hang of it. It's just a lot of repetition. So the next point is what do you use for elimination communication methods? If you're starting right from birth, I personally don't have any experience in that, but I have seen like people just using basically any small container, holding it under their baby's bum. That's what I've seen. Definitely do your own research on that one if you want to do it right from birth. But for us, we started off when she was seven months old and she could sit up already. So we started off with a standalone Bjorn potty that had like a back to it so that even though she could sit up reliably, if she like leans back, there's something there to catch her. I will put a link in the description down below to that potty. We have recently made the switch to using a potty top, like on top of a toilet, so that she can get used to sitting on a bigger toilet when we go out and everything. Be like 
toilet topper, toilet insert mm -hmm, we got from Ikea. And I will also put that down below for you as well. So for communicating with Elise, we have been using sign language for toilet, which if I did my research correct, is just like the T and doing this. It's a little hard for her to do, but there's been a couple times where she will do a fist and do that. Very few times. Also, while she's sitting on the toilet, we make sounds for when she has to go number one or number two. We make the sound ps for number one and her for number two, just so she can understand that there's difference and when she needs to go and hopefully in the next few months to 18 months old or so, she should be able to communicate at least through sounds and hand signals when she needs to go and what she needs to do. She understands the signals and whatnot, but she hasn't quite figured out yet how to communicate them with us. She's done the toilet sign probably like once or twice and also the sound once or twice. So we'll just keep working on them with her. So when we are at home and she is awake, we will generally put her in underwear. And then for naps, overnight, going out, or if it's just a rough day, we'll put her in the cloth diapers. The nice thing about using elimination communication methods is that you can totally still use diapers as a, a backup, basically. You don't have to use underwear, we just chose to use underwear. Basically, using underwear means really gotta prioritize watching your baby's cues because there's, there's no backup. They pee, it goes everywhere. So I've seen several websites that I've looked up say that a good way to start is to just like have them on a mat with no diaper or underwear and just see what their cues are when they go. We did not do that, it just wasn't right for us. So we just started with when she wakes up, before she goes down for a nap, before and after a feed or a meal, and just really paying attention to her cues. We've kind of started paying attention to her cues a little bit before we did elimination communication. So we kind of had a little bit of an idea of what we were going to be working with. I will say elimination communication does take more long-term dedication than potty training at an older age. There can and probably will be messes and that's totally okay. I will say patience is a huge asset to like everyone involved. Remember that what works for one family might not work for another family. This is our experience with this and some things that we've kind of learned along the way. Again, I'm gonna link a few resources down below in case you are interested in learning more. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I do a lot of cloth diaper videos and this was just a little switch up from the normal cloth diaper video at the end of the month. So if you are interested in those, I will also link the cloth diaper playlist in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.